Well, the, the news hit right before we went on the air today, actually, about the Conor McGregor, Habib Nurmagomedov situation. Ali Abdelaziz not happy with some of the punishments handed down as well, but they, they did appear. John Jones is appearing today as well. But uh, lots of information here. We have a clearer picture of when Habib Nurmagomedov, Conor McGregor can fight again. Uh, James, the fines were a point of contention, it seemed. $500,000 for Nurmagomedov, McGregor $50,000. i am inclined to agree with that, that fine at the very least. Yeah, I am as well. Um, you, you can't jump outside the cage. I mean, that's just, it's dangerous. And, and yes, I realize the bar has been set pretty low just with the fact that McGregor threw a dolly at a bus, but that, that doesn't excuse the fact that these guys got to act like professionals. Do, leave the fighting in the ring or in the cage, I should say. And uh, yeah, I, I, you know, reading the punishments and everything, none, nothing surprised me. And, and I thought the fines were about right. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we I, no, nothing here really surprised me just seeing everything that we're, that's coming out right now. Teammates of Habib, uh, Abu Akbar, um, Nurmagomedov, and uh, Zabura Tukagov were given one-year suspensions and fined $25,000. And Ariel Hawani says that he doesn't expect Habib to fight until his teammates are no longer suspended, which would be October 2019, uh, and that Habib will reportedly pay for the fines of his teammates. I get some sense, uh, the sense of nobility that he might have, Joe, but to me, quite frankly, sitting out until your teammates aren't suspended is flat out stupid. But I want to know what you think. Yeah, well, it's, it's the culture thing, right? It's it's what he believes in. It's what he. It, it's one of those things that it, they're they're wired differently than the way most people in North America think. So I completely get it. I completely understand it. And he wants to just put a stand out there. I mean, it, it, he got a nine month suspension. Can be retroactive because of you know if he does his community service with. Uh, the police force and everything like that. And, you know, if they like it, they accept it. You know, it can go down to six months in order to Connor. So uh, that's one thing there, but it's irrelevant. He may not even do that because he's like, well, four, if my teammates are going to be out, I'm staying out, right? Um, they think differently. They, that's just, they're, they're very proud, a uh, very proud portion and region of that world. So I, I don't, I'm not surprised. I mean, the reality is this. I mean, if there wasn't such a huge pay-per-view and, and money-making scenario, uh, you know, I don't know if anyone found it ironic that yesterday's UFC press release talked about how big this, uh, this pay-per-view <laughs> actually was yeah. the day before the actual hearing. So I think that was pretty strategic on the UFC's part. But uh, when it comes to Habib and, and, and his teammates, I mean, they're lucky they haven't got, they didn't get suspended for life. Because if it was anybody else and if it wasn't this big of a name, they'd have been gone for life probably, right? So it's, it's you know, money talks sometimes, guys. Well, let's talk about the suspensions. Conor McGregor uh, received a six-month suspension. This is retroactive to October 6, 2018. K Khabib Nurmagomedov was handed down a nine-month suspension, but he can have it reduced to six if he participates in an anti-bullying PSA ca campaign. So November, December, January, we're about three, almost four months into the suspension anyway. So it, Conor McGregor got a fine. That's what Conor McGregor got. He got a fine. And Habib Nurmagomedov, I'm sure if, I mean, if he wants to sit out, he doesn't have to do a PSA campaign. But, I mean, it, it's such a low effort way. It is the, the commission saying, here's a nice way for you to get out of this if you want to fight this summer. And if he does that, then he can fight. You can go ahead and schedule a fight with him and Tony Ferguson. James, what did you think of the suspensions that were handed down? Yeah, pretty much par for the course. Uh, of course, it's retroactive. So, you know, really, they're not going to be missing too much time. Um, the thing I'd be curious with as far as Habib fighting is, uh, you know, he, he obviously uh, does Ramadan. So, you know, he won't be training during those months. Uh, so it could be a while before you see Habib back. And, you know, I hate to use the the I word, but, uh, you know, it, it would be a while that, that he would be coming back to fight again. Yeah. So um, I, I'll, I'll have to I'm curious to see what the UFC does in this situation, because not having a lightweight champion fight for a while is is pretty I mean, it hurts the division. Right. And then you have Tony Ferguson, who rightfully deserves a shot. And there, there's so many pieces. So I, I think what um, to answer your question, I mean, yeah, the, the suspensions were about what I thought they were going to be. The real question now is, how are they going to do these fights? Because they have to figure out who's going to fight when. And, you know, like I said, Habib versus Tony should happen, but they got to be reasonable about it, too. You don't want to be sitting out an entire year. Yeah, uh, just so you guys know, Ramadan starts on May 5th, ends on June 4th. So, and you never know how long it'll take him to recover for something like that. And there are some fighters that, that fight through it, but... Don't, uh, Habib is traditionally not one of those guys. 
So I as don't know we how look, you can possibly fight through that. You got to be exactly tough as nails to go through yeah. that. Bilal Muhammad has. Yeah, yeah. Bilal, I know Bilal did. I think Bilal fought actually on Titan one time during Ramadan. I was like, man, how? But guys are tough. Woo. So the thing is, if you schedule a fight right after that suspension ends, you're talking like early. You're talking like right at the beginning of Ramadan. That ain't happening. You think it caught that Habib of all people is gonna go into his fight not like with 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 that eating schedule the way that it is? Oh man. So we we could be looking at we could be looking at him just saying, you know what, I'll take the nine months. I wasn't gonna train for a month there anyway, and then he would be preparing for the next two months. Wild situation that we have here. We'll have more on it at fightfulmma.com because uh this situation is very much ongoing. Habib had <laughs> tweeted afterwards, always politics. Like he wasn't, he very clearly wasn't happy about this.